as happy new year 2016 like wild animals performing yep. live i've got one but she is really isn't that wild and that is bitsy the cat she is a shill cat trained by the nsa <laughs> so very, pretty too. very dangerous and uh, yours and mine are about the same age she killed three people just just in a staring contest yeah, right <laughs> staring just contest. a while Watch him die. <laughs> just, <laughs> she killed a man in Vegas just to watch him die. <laughs> yep, she is ferocious. Anyway, so cute. Anyway, okay. What do you think about the um? No killing, Bitsy. Again, the shill cat trying to infiltrate the broadcast. Bra. <laughs> the um. Uh, playing down here. No, no. If I these are our predictions for 2016, and they involve flat Earth. So. The first prediction is, it's weird. Oh. You can pick first, whatever you want. The first one is number one, massive okay. international false flag, probably in the United States. Yes. We think this is going to happen because there's been so many things pointing to that happening. Uh, it hasn't happened yet, but I believe there will be some kind of false flags event happening where people actually die, and this will be, obviously, being a false flag, it will be government created. It's a horrible, depressing thing to think, but look at the news stories that have been happening, look at all the events that have been happening, look at all of the time we're told ISIS, 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 and whatever it is, it's going to be something, I mean, we know who ISIS really is. It's going to be something along along that, along those lines. And I, I'm saying it's probably going to be in the United States, because the last thing we had was 9-11, the big one. So. Yeah, and that was also completely created from the ground up. Yeah. False. We're due. We're due for a big one. It's yeah. been uh, what fourteen years since nine eleven. Uh, you know, you say, "Oh, Boston bombing, Sandy." No, no, big something big, something really big where the world actually cares. And uh, yeah, we're we're definitely due. All right, up next, you're on to number two. Uh, some disaster. I actually didn't come up with this one. This is Patricia. Uh, so she can take credit for it. We is came that, up with these together. We're just going to read each other's. We order. did. We read them in front of the fireplace and had eggnog. The, that would have um, been really nice if we did, though. Yeah. Next year. Been, that would have been nice. Uh, some disaster involving the International Space Station. So what the idea there is, is that we've been hammering. Because, again, they're dancing to our music. Everything that we are mentioning, they are doing. We talk about that there's no British in space. Oh, how about you know the first British guy in space? We talk about, as a matter of fact, uh, I've, I've got to mention this one because it was going to be on my predictions, but it already happened, which was I was going to say that the Orion program was going to be, you know, finished. It was going you, to shut you've down. You said that in the past. I did. I've heard I, you say it. I've said it on air. I'm going, you cannot do the Orion program. It, you can't. It's it's impossible to do because it's the deep, there's too many details, too many production. Uh, to pull off a fake one. It's yeah, you can't. Not, period, you can't, but you can't pull off. But, a fake but you one. can't even pull off a fake one because uh, you you don't want to risk it. And I said, if anyone was actually doing this for a career, they might want to think about just bailing. And I'll be darned I mean, if uh, Russian vids would be on you like you know yeah. what on you know what. Yeah. <laughs> and a many week, other YouTubers. A if week. We try to pull off a fake Mars mission. Exactly. A week ago, uh, the Orion program, the, the the Mars mission for NASA, shut down. Uh, look it up. I'm going to have it on my uh, Strange World, the intro for it, the intro um, clip, one of the news clips, but you can look it up. It's all over the news where they came on television and said, oh, yeah, we're, we're shutting down indefinitely because a French geologic device wasn't airtight or something like that. You know, it was some mechanical thing with a, a French thing. It's like, well, we missed our window, so it's going to be shut down. It's going to be two years before we even do anything. Again, it's like, what are you talking about? Why? Why? You know, I knew why they shut down. But yeah, that was one of my one of my. A things. guy messaged me, an anti-flat earther, and he was saying, I look forward when we have uh, space travel for the regular folk. It's going to be happening soon. Mm, um, yeah, it's keep waiting. Good fantastic. Luck on that. Let me know. Like, like the colony on on the moon. Yeah, let me know. Right, like the Jetsons. Yeah, like the Jetsons. Yeah, let me know. Right. Uh, number three is you. Oh, the hit count on YouTube will break five million. We're we're closing in on it now. What what you checked probably before we're we went it, on. We're bro we're coming in on two point six right now, but that's that's significant. Only that a couple months ago it was only at a million, 
And so it's, it's growing. The, the chunks are, are, we're ripping off bigger and bigger chunks. So attaining 5 million in 2016, that'll be very, very easily and very easy, unless there is a, a major event, in which case it'll just go through the roof and you won't even be able to put it. Well, the massive international false flag, our number one, yeah. uh, that could scrap a lot of what we're about to talk about. And that's a big worry. So yeah, yeah. All right, that's number three. Number four, Mark. Num number four, several B-list or higher. I could have said C-list or higher, but I don't actually know who C-list actors are. Several B-list or higher celebrities will be active in social media about Flat Earth. And I say uh, active instead of being pro or con, because again, it doesn't matter. So if, let's we've say- also got, We've got the rapper B.O.B. already mentioning um, at least anti-NASA stuff. So that's happening already. So it doesn't matter if it's a singer, an actor, a comedian, uh, television, movies, it really doesn't matter. Uh, if any of them mention Flat Earth and mention it in passing either pro or against, it's going to get some traction. So I'm not saying that, you know, if George Clooney mentions it, you know, how many hits it's going to get, but it'll get a lot because he's very popular. Yeah, and it would just be you on every computer. Uh, Google, Google. <laughs> It's terrible. No, he's a cool guy. I no, I'm no, I am not in love and with George Clooney. He looks good in the him. same thing you're wearing as well. So. He looks good. Period. The guy's the guy's great. I, I you know what I like about more than anything though, not to digress too much, is his comedic timing. People see him as oh, you know, a good-looking leading man. No, no. What I like about him, kind of like with the same with Ryan and Re Ryan Reynolds, they're funny. Their sense of timing. You know, watch um, uh, Oh Brother, Where Art Thou? With you know with George Clooney and that thing, he's. Mm -hmm. Brilliant. I mean, the right. I mean, they, if you can write for his comedic timing, uh, I, I don't know of any any. It's just really, really good. So I anyways. met Ryan Reynolds in person. I'm not a celebrity stalker or interested in meeting celebrities at oh, all. Oh, you better him. you better pick up that that name you just dropped. Hang on. So, no, no, I met him in person, you. and I'm saying it for a reason. I used to own a clothing store in New Orleans, Louisiana, called A Girl Is a Gun, and Ryan Reynolds, and. Uh, uh, you Next is no number five, You've Neil Disgrace Tyson. I mean, DeGrasse Tyson. He'll formally say that he will not talk about Flat Earth anymore. He's just done with it. He's going to make some kind of statement that that's it. He's not going to address it any further. Yeah. And he'll do it on camera, which is even worse. You know, instead of saying a memo out to every producer that, that he ever could be in contact with, including the network that he's on, National Geographic, he is going to come out, you know, either on CNN or Fox or MSNBC or somewhere. And or I think it's just NBC News now. And and say that, yeah, he's he's not doing it. But in doing so, remember, it's the you're breaking the flight, a fight club rule, which is you can't not talk about it by talking about it. So. Yeah, it'll backfire on them. Up next on our predictions, top 10 for 2016 for the Flat Earth is number six, Mark. NASA will announce contact with another life form on Mars. And that's that's kind of, it could be part of the, the big, big false flag. And that is NASA, if they want to really distract people, if they want to convince people that there's outer space, what better way to do it? than to mention, you know, because they've been kind of poking around this anyway, you know, there's water here, there's, there could be life here, you know, we're, we're psyching people up. Wouldn't it be great if all of a sudden the rover, you know, came, you know, drove over a little hill like the rover's supposed to be working anyway, the battery should have died years ago. Like the rover's supposed to be there anyway. <laughs> At all. Well, well, you know, I mean, and the rover batteries die, period. Once a battery dies, it dies. And this rover should have, the battery should have died on this thing. I don't care how many times you think you can recharge it. It should have died years ago. And not just a few years either. And it's, they're going to roll it over a, a hill or something and find, you know, a little city or a spaceship or something. And or like Close Encounters. Do, yeah. do, do, you know, some kind of a, yeah. um, like some kind of, um, I don't know, code will come into our computers, they'll say. And they, yeah, or, or some little creature is going to is going to be like walking around and it's going to do one of these where it's like, you know, <laughs> it'll, just it'll, it'll just show up. <laughs> Anybody tell you you look like Shrek? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. No, I never heard that. <laughs> Why? Because I'm green and big? 
cute Shrek you are, though. Oh, thank you. So, yeah, it, you just have a creature do that. I mean, scare the hell out of people. And uh, it could be me, actually, wearing a mask for, for that for that. Now, shot. we are not saying that we believe in alien life forms like this at all. We're just saying... No, no, I'm just saying if you want to... If, is yeah, going if, you, to say, if they can't go to Mars, they're going to perpetuate some to bring in the alien agenda, which I know it's got to be coming because we've been being programmed with it for years. Yeah. It seems like that now is about the time since they say they can't go to keep our mind on space. They're going to tell us that they've received yeah, contact or photo or because video. Because if there are aliens, there has to be space. Plain and simple. Exactly. So, uh, so anyway, we'll, we'll leave it at that. Uh, Up next seven. on our predictions, yep, number seven. There will be a major roundtable with university scientists and leading flat earth proponents. Exciting. Yeah, I think it's going to happen. It's only a matter of time now where they've got to wheel somebody out there, uh, even if they don't want to. If they've got to do rock, paper, scissors, and, and the loser goes, that's what they'll, they'll end up doing because Who science- Who do you want? Bill well, Nye, know, well, Neil. I, I, yeah, I want Bill Nye. I want Neil. Um, I want the head of NASA. I want anybody that's that's on television because anybody the else. Oh, it's the astronauts. What are they going to do? The, um, the one that's doing the year in space. I mean, the oh, year in that space. Guy. Yeah, yeah. Unfortunately, he. there's no way you can put him in front of the camera. He's an astronaut. No, no. What, he'll be great in front of camera because... Those people have all of that camera experience and meeting with the public and shaking hands. He'll be able to, he yeah. won't be able to answer certain questions, but we'll be able to defer. Yeah, but if he's under the microscope and he knows what he's up against, I, he'd be terrified. That's the, the difference here is that, uh, again, the, it's the um, police interrogation thing. And that is, you know, we've all seen it in the, in the police movies where it's like, why do you keep asking me the same question over and over? You know, they, we, every, year after year, we keep seeing this in, in interrogation things. And that's because the truth doesn't change. So if I ask you the same story 10 times, it shouldn't change. And he's got to be scared about, like any of the astronauts, about missing a detail. Unless you're rehearsed to the point where you know it absolutely backwards and forwards and can do it in your sleep, you've got to be nervous about, about doing any sort of roundtable of getting caught. Because once it's recorded, it goes out on the internet and people will dissect it frame by frame and they'll, they'll catch them. So, yeah, I want somebody with a freaking PhD in astrophysics or um, astronomy, maybe a radio a telescope operator. Someone from NASA would be good. Uh, and I don't care, you know, even if it's an international person I, I wouldn't care it doesn't have to be from jpl uh, but i would love i would love to see any of them i mean again the, the reason why I, I we did um stanton friedman was because neil turned us down flat right. and it was just something that we could do and do now and he was a nice man but yeah. you know yeah. um that is number seven and number eight Mark. number eight uh donald trump reinforces his stance on flat earth during his campaign bit now you and i vetted this one out and it doesn't look like it was real in case anyone wants to look this story up story that said yeah, donald it, trump was eating pancakes and saying it, the earth it, might be flat it looks like a fake story that pancakes. donald trump was <laughs> was actually talking about flat earth kind of like you know because he was challenging um you know, he was trying to make himself, trying to lean towards the Bible literalist side. Was it a real story? And eh, doubtful. But here's the thing, as you know, because the election's a full year away. As this thing moves forward, uh, you know, if this thing keeps trending, that question, as awkward as it is, is going to, you know, and, and sooner or later, you're going to get some advisor, some weaselly little guy that's going to say, hey, you know what's trending? You know the side you ought to be, you know, talking to is the flat earther. You know, you, you should be appealing to them. You should you should mention it like in passing. Like, what if the flat earth was real? How would that affect our life? You know, spin it any way you want. Uh, but I think that that a um, a major political candidate, and there's only we all know who it's going to come down to probably, uh, will have to address it. And I think they'll address it on air, uh, maybe you know, in tongue in cheek. Who knows? But uh, I think I think they'll address it. If you see it, then you know we've we've gotten pretty as about as close as we can without the tipping point happening. All right. Up next on our top uh, 10 2016 Flat Earth New Year predictions is, and this is going to take some explanation, the mainstream will produce a Flat Earth Antichrist. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, 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 dun. What? Oops, my cat just jumped up on something, so I might have to remove her. Uh, the wild animals are on the loose. Can you explain that, Mark? Hold on just one minute. Why, yes, I can, Patricia. 
uh, the Flat Earth Antichrist. Basically, it was a theory that uh, I had come up with a little while ago. Um, which... By the way, it's Greer, just so you could think Oh, the black cat, how fitting. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. That was remember, on cue. Remember, kids, all witches own at least one black cat. I only have one. Exactly. What's and her broom it? is off camera. She's kind of like the, the, the witch from Bewitched. Uh, Liz, Elizabeth Montgomery. I am not a witch, but I am going to put the wild animals back in the bedroom with my little little thing that they like to chase. Ritual animal sacrifice. No, no, no. Continue with that. Uh, right. Flat anyway, Earth, the, the, the flat Earth Antichrist. Okay, the flat Earth Antichrist. Here's the deal on that. Uh, eventually, here's one of two things is going to happen. If the, if the mainstream is going to have to touch this at all, they're going to have to do one of two things. One is they're going to have to pick somebody from the flat Earth community and sort of groom them into a position where they can actually talk about flat Earth. You know, either legitimately or illegitimately, depending on who you're, who you're talking to. You know, if you know if if they talk to somebody, if if someone goes on and talks about flat Earth and they're and they're totally taking it a different way, then you know what happened. And if this was somebody in the flat Earth community, or you pick somebody out of your own ranks, so you automatically create somebody with a big backstory. Because remember, ninety percent of the world still doesn't know what the whole flat Earth thing is about. So you pick somebody, you you put, give them a false backstory. You know, a book they wrote several years ago about the flat Earth. Tell them that they've been researching it for the last six, seven years. Uh, you know, and all this stuff, and you know, went on talk circuits, and and it's like, and then they are the spokesperson, somebody that they can control. And so that was the thought that somebody that the mainstream will eventually have to deal with this one way or the other. Uh, but that's, that's assuming they don't do a false flag instead. So if they try to embrace it, if they try to get in front of it, like you could even, you, you could even pick, you still there, by the way, she may or may not be the, um, uh, you could even pick Neil deGrasse Tyson and say that, have him address it finally and say, okay, look, I'm dealing with the flat earth. Here's why there's, there's been some problems and you can, you can make up any plot line you wanted. Uh, along those lines, why NASA didn't talk about it, and you know, it was for her own good, or maybe they were threatened by another civilization. Who knows? But you could pick uh, Neil deGrasse would be the ultimate choice, of course. Uh, uh, Bill Nye, the science guy, uh, maybe even that Japanese guy that talks and bring on to talk about Fukushima every once in a while. But that's who they should produce uh, if if they're going to do this, and we'll see. They they may may or not. I have returned just in time. Perfect to do number ten. Yes, number 10. Mainstream will try to make a connection, as we discussed earlier in our show, between flat earth and terrorism. Dun, dun, dun. Yes. Uh, and we, yeah, the boat thing. Uh, honestly, how hard would it be? You, uh, you blow up the boat, you know, pretend there's a couple people injured or maybe or may or may not be injured and then uh, and, and link it to flat earth in some way. Uh, and it'd be easy enough to do. You can say, uh, oh, yeah, we went to the, the, the suspect's home. We found a computer full of ISIS material. We found bomb making equipment. Uh, and we found uh, Eric Dubay's book. Uh, you know, but the problem there is, again, again, it's like Fight Club. You can't, you can't avoid the topic and still bring it up at the same time. Yeah, you could go the other way and say all flat earthers are nuts and you shouldn't talk about this. But in doing so, you risk the chance of exposing people who had never heard the term before to first be introduced to it. And uh, that's risky, very risky. So they don't want to do it, in my opinion. All right. That concludes our top 10 list of predictions for 2016. Uh, I'm excited, though. I, I believe this is the year of the flat earther and that yeah. we should say that. We should make it a meme. Sure. This is the year of the flat earther. So please yeah. go ahead and do it when you do your New Year's stuff. Uh, you know, when you write on Facebook or Twitter or you know, a card. I don't think people give New Year's cards. Whatever. What any any way it comes up in conversation. The year of the flat earther. I mean, it is the year of the flat earther. Yeah. Many of us woke up to flat earth um, in February, March. I mean, it was the first wave and then forward. I, I was March and you were before that. Uh, and and uh, many are still waking up right now as, we're, as we speak. But it's it's 2015 when we really started growing and more are to come but uh 2016 is when we're all on board we're kind of understanding what needs to be done people are making these maps people are discussing uh what 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 the structure of the land we live on is and just attempting to try to figure it out so this is going to be the year i don't think this year is just going to be like any other year i mean hey 2015 wasn't like any other year 
but there's going to be things happening faster and faster and faster. Look, we've seen it with NASA. They're coming up with stuff right and left. It's in a, at an amazing speed in order to keep up with us. As, yeah. as I say, they're dancing to our tune. So yeah. exciting, exciting. Agreed. And if they threw in the towel on the Mars project, then what are they going to replace it with? What are you going to use to convince people that it's a globe? Whatever it is, it's going to be big. I, be big. I believe it's got to be some kind of alien thing that they'll say. Yeah. yeah so. what I'd, that's what I'd do. All right. So let's see. Well, we've got a couple more Q&A questions I just want to get to. And then we've got our... All right, that concludes yet another fabulous show. Wait, was that we didn't? Did you drop the ball? Not yet. <laughs> did I miss it? When you drop the ball, is there a countdown? Uh, we could just do five? three, one. Well, usually it's from from a long ways. But and you do the countdown, All right. and we'll, we'll, I we'll count will down get the ball ready. Okay. So all ready. <laughs> I know this is sort of rigged, but hey, you know. All right. So, the and by the way, do not look at the globe and say, oh, they're promoting the globe. No, what no. globe? We're, we haven't shown it yet. Oh, right. I'm giving it away. Well, yeah, but we got to tell them because it's like, no, we're saying goodbye to the globe one last time. Like next year, if we we're doing this next year, we're not dropping the globe. We're going to drop some sort no. of spinning. We'll probably drop the uh, a bigger version of uh, Mr. Moot's thing. Yeah, that sounds like a great idea. All right. Let's have the countdown for Ready? moving on into 2016. All righty. Okay. Yes. Five, four, three, two, one. Happy <laughs> And there it oh, goes. Wait, I could I could turn up the fireworks sounds, I suppose. Oh uh, yeah. Woo Dropping the ball. Whoosh. Hang on. Yeah. There. That was kind of dumb, but but fun. It's now you got fireworks fun. sounds in the background. Fantastic. Yep. Well, you look fantastic. You're going to be probably meeting up with Orphan Red later today. She'll be filming an episode for her channel, and that'll be fun. And uh, happy 2016, Mark. Happy 2016, Patricia. And to all, happy 2016, Flat Earthers. I love you. And I really mean that. <laughs> Keep it flat. And now time for another aspect of our show. Wild animals for your entertainment. I can't see this, so I can't even begin to imagine. Well, I'm hoping that the camera is going to pick up the wild animals for your entertainment purposes. This may be a big fail. I'm surprised you don't have circus music. Um, well, the, uh, the wild animal just dropped down. There's one wild animal performing <laughs> for you here on <laughs> Flatters and Other Hot Potatoes. And the others are not really ready to perform. So... Yeah. Nice. Nothing says Happy New Year 2016 like wild animals performing yep. live.
esta idea me vino hoy especialmente cuando vi otra vez una chica ahí pidiendo dinero por la calle actually I must say first this idea today I got especially when I saw again um, one girl begging for money in the streets me gustaría ayudar pero yo tampoco me sobra mucho el dinero I would really like to help everybody but I, I don't have either too much money and así que me vino la siguiente idea so I got the following idea it's, uh, it's más bien un juego uh, it's uh, rather a game es muy importante elegir un monedero de Bitcoin que solo tú mismo, mismo tienes la llave privada. What is very important to choose um, Bitcoin wallet a company which you only possess the private key. For example, uh, blockchain.info. Por ejemplo, la empresa blockchain.info. Luego, imprimir en papel um, la llave privada y también guardarlo tú mismo. Then, to print in paper the private key and uh, of course save for, for yourself that private key bueno ya estamos imprimiendo imprime por lo menos 10 so now we are already printing so at least print 10 directions 10 direcciones luego pones algo de bitcoin una cantidad lo que lo que te da la gana en esta dirección Then you put some Bitcoin, uh, the amount, whatever you want, in, that, in these directions. Y la próxima vez que sales de casa ya tienes algo que dar a los que están ahí pidiendo por la calle. And the next time you go out of the house, you have already something to give for these people who are begging on the streets. Y por ejemplo, y claro, para tus amigos, amigas, and for your friends, of course. Eso da motivación a la gente para aprender Bitcoin y this gives motivation for the people to learn about Bitcoin. Y la parte del juego consiste en lo siguiente. And the game part uh, consists in the following. Explicas a la gente, mira, esta es la cl clave privada, que es la clave secreta. You explain to the people, look, this is the private key, which must be secret. And uh, you have it and uh, me and uh, explicas esa persona y yo mismo la tiene. Y antes pensaba en cinco años, pero luego cambié un poco de idea de hasta cuatro años. First I thought of five years, but then I changed uh, my opinion to four years. Later explain. Después lo expli explico por qué. Les dices, mira, tienes cuatro años para poner esta cantidad de Bitcoin a otra dirección. Si no lo, lo has quitado después de cuatro años, yo lo quito. So you explain them, you have four years to take this Bitcoin out of this direction, of this secret 
uh, key direction. If uh, you don't do it, uh, I do it after these four years. So you lose this. That's the, this part of the game. It's uh, la parte del juego. He creado este hashtag uh, BTC4 para hacerlo un poco popular. I created this hashtag BTC4 to make it a little popular. Antes pensaba en cinco años, pero luego cambié a cuatro porque te has dado cuenta que en los Simpsons eh, la gente tiene cuatro dedos y solo do, Dios tiene cinco dedos. Um, first, I thought of five years, but then I changed my mind to four years. Um, did you notice that in the Simpsons? People have a four fingers and only God has five fingers. Uh, I'll show some pictures. Voy a enseñar algunas imágenes de los Simpsons. De los manos y dedos de Simpsons. Some pictures of the hands and fingers of Simpsons. Uh, pero antes quiero recordar que Um, es muy probable que en también cuatro o cinco en los próximos años el valor de Bitcoin puede subir mucho. Just want to remember before that uh, the price of Bitcoin, the value of Bitcoin can rise very much in these next years. Así que si solo pones una cantidad pequeña, más tarde puede ser de gran ayuda. Even if you just put a little small amount, later it can be big help. Uh, no solo para... Bueno, es un juego. <laughs> si la persona lo quita antes de cuatro años, para, es para esta persona, si no... Es para ti si te recuerdas y guardas bien la llave privada. So, uh, it's, this is the game part. If uh, the, the person takes the money out, it's for that person. But if they forget it after these four years, you can take it out. And it can be really... <laughs> bueno, imprimir también la llave pública y la llave privada y si por ejemplo ok, first translate print not just the private key but on also the public key así que si por ejemplo explicas a la gente mira, si alguna persona quiere enviarte bitcoin pero tú no tienes ninguna dirección así que puedes dar este, esta llave pública a la persona Mira, muy bien, la llave pública, no la llave secreta, das a esa persona o cualquier persona y te pueden enviar un Bitcoin a esa dirección. So, remember, uh, the public key you can give to anybody and if somebody wants to send you some Bitcoin and, you, and this person doesn't have any, so you have already this public address where they can send you Bitcoin. ¿Qué es Bitcoin? Bitcoin es la primera moneda digital descentralizada. Los Bitcoins son monedas digitales que puedes enviar a través de Internet. Comparado con otras alternativas, Bitcoin tiene numerosas ventajas. Los Bitcoins son transferidos directamente de persona a persona a través de la red sin pasar por un banco u otro intermediario. Esto significa que las comisiones son mucho menores, Puedes usarlo en cualquier país, tu cuenta no puede ser congelada y no hay prerequisitos o límites arbitrarios. 
Miremos cómo funciona. Los bitcoins son generados en todo internet por cualquiera con un programa gratuito llamado Minero de Bitcoin. Crear bitcoins requiere una cierta cantidad de trabajo para cada bloque de monedas. Esta cantidad se ajusta automáticamente por la red, para que los bitcoins siempre sean creados a un ratio predecible y limitado. Tus bitcoins se guardan en tu billetera digital, que te resultará familiar si usas banca digital. Cuando transfieres bitcoins, una firma electrónica es añadida. Pasados unos minutos, la transacción es verificada por el minero y es almacenada permanente y anónimamente por la red. El software de Bitcoin es completamente abierto y cualquiera puede revisar el código. Bitcoin está cambiando las finanzas de la misma manera que la web ha cambiado el periodismo. Cuando cualquiera tiene acceso al mercado global, florecen grandes ideas. Miremos algunos ejemplos de cómo los Bitcoins están usándose hoy en día. Puedes comprar videojuegos, regalos, libros, servidores y calcetines de alpaca. Existen varias casas de cambio donde puedes intercambiar tus bitcoins por dólares, euros y más. Los bitcoins son una gran forma para que pequeños negocios y autónomos reciban publicidad. No cuesta nada empezar a aceptarlos, no hay cargos o comisiones y recibirás negocio adicional de la economía bitcoin. Para tus primeros bitcoins y más información visita weusecoins.com Bueno, ahora voy a enseñar algunas imágenes de los dedos de Simpsons. Now I'll show you some pictures of the fingers of Simpsons. The four fingers, los cuatro dedos y cinco dedos de Dios. Uh, four fingers and five fingers of God of Simpsons. Español, inglés, deutsch. Normalmente produzco solo videos en inglés y español. Normally I produce only videos in English and Spanish. Normalerweise produziere ich nur videos in English and Spanish. Pero hoy voy a hacer otra excepción y traducirlo también en alemán. But today I make another exception and translate it into German too. Aber heute werde ich nochmal eine Ausnahme machen und es auch in Deutsch übersetzen. Ja, algunas semanas tengo escrito en mi lista de tareas por hacer de traducir el video hashtag BTC4. Now, already some weeks ago, I have written on my to-do list to translate the video BTC4, hashtag BTC4. Schon seit ein paar Wochen habe ich äh, auf meiner To-Do-Liste geschrieben, ähm, den Video BTC4 in Deutsch zu übersetzen. 
Estoy segura que esta idea puede ayudar a mucha gente económicamente. I am sure that this can help many people economically. Ich bin sicher, dass diese Idee vielen Leuten uh, finanziell helfen kann. Y da motivación para aprender Bitcoin. And give motivation to learn about Bitcoin. Und motivation geben, o über Bitcoin zu lernen. En este momento el precio de Bitcoin es muy bajo, económico. At the moment the price of Bitcoin is very low, economic. Im moment is the price of Bitcoin sehr tief. Sería el momento ideal para invertir. Hoy es el 15 de abril 2015. Would be the ideal moment to invest. Today is April 15th, 2015. Es wäre der ideale Moment zu investieren. Heute ist der 15. April 2015. El 27 de marzo 2015 he publicado en mi canal de YouTube Vanos Enigma el primer video sobre hashtag BTC4 explicando cómo me vino esta idea. On March 27th of 2015, um, I published my fir the first video about hashtag BTC4 in my channel YouTube Vanos Enigma, e explaining how I got the idea. Am 27. März 2015 habe ich in meinem YouTube-Channel Vanos Enigma den ersten, den ersten Video über Hashtag BTC4 veröffentlicht und äh, erzählt, erklärt, wie ich diese Idee bekommen habe. La idea consiste principalmente en lo siguiente. The idea mainly consists in the following. Die idea besteht hauptsächlich en folgenden, folgenden. Imprimir en direcciones de Bitcoin en papel. Diez o mínimo diez o mejor cien. To print Bitcoin directions in paper, at least 10 or better 100. Bitcoin adressen in Papier ausdrucken, um, minimal 10 or besser gleich 100. Y luego poner en cada dirección de Bitcoin una pequeña cantidad de Bitcoin. And then put in every Bitcoin direction a little amount of Bitcoin. Und dann in jede Bitcoin Adresse eine kleine Summe von Bitcoin transferieren. Y la próxima vez, cuando otra vez ves una persona por la calle pidiendo dinero, and the next time uh, you see again a person begging for money on the street. Und das nächste Mal, wenn du wieder eine Person auf der Straße betteln siehst. Y para tus amigos y amigas. And for your friends, of course. Und für deine Freunde natürlich. O tal vez eh, de propina en un restaurante. O maybe a tip in a restaurant. 
oder Trinkgeld im Restaurant. Bueno, a la hora de imprimir también copiar y guardar las llaves privadas de Bitcoin, de direcciones de Bitcoin. Or when you print the Bitcoin addresses, um, copy and save the private keys of the Bitcoin addresses, of course. Wenn man die Bitcoin Adressen druckt, auch die, uh, auch die privaten Schlüssel, Bitcoin Address Schlüssel, um, kopieren und speichern. Y a la hora de distribuir las direcciones de Bitcoin, escribir la fecha, por ejemplo, hoy es el 15 de abril 2015, escribir la fecha, más plus cuatro años, eh, igual 15 de abril 2019. And then in the moment when you distribute uh, the Bitcoin addresses, you write the date, for example, today, April 15th, 2015, plus, plus four years uh, is April 15th, 2019. Und dann in dem Moment, wenn man die Bitcoin-Adressen verteilt, auf das Papier schreiben, das heutige Datum, zum Beispiel 15. April 2015, plus vier Jahre ist gleich 15.04.2019. Luego vas a explicar a la gente, mira, esta es la llave privada. Tú y yo la tengo, la tienes. Si no quitas, transfieres este dinero de Bitcoin eh, en estos cuatro años, yo lo vuelvo a tener, tener o sacar. Then you explain to the people, look, this is the private key. I have it and you have it. If you don't take this money, Bitcoin, out of this account, I will take it out in this, um, in these four years, at the end of these four years. Und dann erklärst du den Leuten, schau, das ist der private Schlüssel. Um, ich und du haben diesen privaten Schlüssel, Bitcoin Schlüssel. Wenn du äh, bis Ende dieser vier Jahre das Geld Bitcoin nicht raus tust, transfer, äh, dann hole ich es zurück. De esta forma das más motivación a la gente para empezar a aprender cómo funciona Bitcoin. This way, you give more motivation to the people to learn how the technology of Bitcoin functions. Auf diese Weise gibst du mehr Motivation den Leuten zu lernen, wie die Technologie von Bitcoin funktioniert. In